Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, this ain't no clickbait. Enjoy your life, live it up. Don't let anybody get in your way. Like, share, and comment. And don't forget to subscribe and put on your seatbelt because it's one hell of a ride. Hey, you guys. Hey, guys. It's Steph. And Tasha, and we are back with another video. Before we get started, if you're new here, thank you and welcome to the family. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. If you can look in the comments, you see that we always comment back unless we don't see you. Um, today we're doing something a little different. And for you newbies too, we don't just do mukbangs. We do whatever. Yes. Uh, so I'm going to let baby explain what we're doing today. Okay, so today we're doing the girlfriend tag, you guys. So what we're going to do is ask each other questions about each other. So... We have 10 questions here, and we're going to see. I don't even know if it's like, are you going to get the right answer? I don't know. Mm -mm. We're just going to do the girlfriend oh, tag. Yeah. All right, so it's for my girl, Terry Smith. Let's get into the video. Before we get into the video, I need to share something with you guys. Um, because Tasha just took something to the next level for me. I call her puppy, you guys, for several different reasons. One reason is that she really loves milk. Like, I've never seen anybody who loves milk like her. But today, she okay. took it to the next level when she came in here with this, y'all. I don't know why she tripping, y'all. Why I can't do this. A wine glass full of milk. And this is the second cup. She, she, she drank one cup already, guys. I have never seen anybody in love with milk like this. But go ahead. Carry on. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. And that's why you got milk in the puppy voice. Okay, so anyway, y'all, let's get into this. Let, okay, so we got 10 questions here. Let's start with number one. What is my favorite movie? We both gonna answer these questions. She Stephanie's favorite movie is what? Go ahead. Annie. Yeah, you should know this after the wife versus cousin challenge. Yeah. You got wrong. Okay, but I know it now. Okay. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. After every matter fact, years. I do know. I knew, but I was trying to let Rhonda get some points in. No, she didn't. So she had no clue. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say waiting to excel for you. No? No. Okay, well what is it? Because you never talk about any other movie for that. She bought the line makeup something, y'all. <laughs> y'all know how she be cheating. Go ahead. What is this fake movie you about to make up? <laughs> this is not fake. Okay. My favorite movie is Boys in the Hood. Oh, wow. You, that babe, you lying. I'm not you lying. You can't make up lies. I am not lying. My favorite movie is Boys in the Hood. I she can recite. She is lying. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Why oh are my you God. lying? Oh, my God. Why are you lying? That's my favorite movie. She knows every line of Waiting to Excel. Every time, every time she sees that it's on, she got to watch it. I ain't never heard of you liking Boys in the Hood. Now you're going to try to make that up right now? You never ask. I don't have to ask about Waiting to Excel. You talk about it all the time. Oh, my God. What did, she what did, um, Just forget. Ja um, right, you're lying. Janet ja okay, fine. She ain't going to let me explain. Go ahead. Fine. Yeah, tell us. I can tell you every single... Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Because you was about to say... You don't go. even know what I'm about go. to say. Go. <laughs> what were you about to say? <laughs> oh, that's Boy and Justice. Yeah, exactly. Janet Jackson is not in Boys in the Hood. Your favorite movie. I didn't mean that. What like, the heck? I was thinking about Regina King. Mm-mm. So let her lie all day. Go on to the next question. I ain't lying. That's not her baby movie. I'm not lying. All right, go ahead. Thank you. It is I see how this gonna go. No. Who is more spoiled? You. For sure. Yes. Oh, okay, I was about to say, don't even try to say that. easy question. Tasha is so spoiled, y'all, and to the point where, like, she feels real entitled. For real. Like, I don't. She'll, she'll tell me to get up. And get something that's on her side of the room. Lies. Yeah. I do pretty not much. do that. No. Pretty much. You like you you're exactly. Like, babe, can you hand me my socks? And it be right by her. She exactly. I'm on the other side of the room. Next question. <laughs> what would make you get a divorce? Her mouth. Yeah, right. Oh, we would have been divorced if that was okay. What would make you get divorced? <laughs> I'll get I think I'll get a divorce from Stephanie if um if she Never. if she lied Never, to me. Ever, ever. I will get a divorce from Stephanie if she um, if she lied to me like a big lie about something about her life. Um, like if she was constantly like, lying. I had, like the kid doesn't tell you. No, I would get a divorce. Like, I mean, a big lie. If Stephanie was a pathological liar, I'd start. I'd I'd leave. I'd leave her. No, if I just start lie after lie. After yes. Life. Okay. Yeah, that that's definitely. I didn't even think about that. I would definitely leave you if you cheated on me. 
um, if you started abusing me, physically or verbally, and uh, that's pretty much it. If you just start being super duper annoying, maybe, and I just couldn't take it, but I don't think that would happen because I, I don't think, like I said, I don't think your personality would change that drastically to make me want to just leave you for something like that. But anyway, yeah, those are my two things. Number one thing that attracted you to her. Oh, number one thing. Um, I'll say the number two thing. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> the number, what's the number one thing? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, the number two thing that attracted me to Stephanie was the way that she carried herself like she didn't care about anything. Her confidence. Mm -hmm. That's what attracted me to her because I like confident women. Okay. The number one thing that attracted me to her was um, that you seemed like a really good person. And I noticed that you like were like a really good friend to your friends and like to your family. Like you, like a lot of people seem to depend on you and stuff like that. And it seemed like you always were helpful to everybody. So I, that really attracted me to you. What is my least favorite food? Your least favorite food. Yes, you should know this. I do know it. What? She don't know. <coughs> you don't like hot dogs. Wait, let me think. I hate. I do hate hot dogs, though. But I, I will eat hot dogs. Like if there's nothing else around, I, I'd eat it. This thing I would not eat ever. Do I eat it? You have. I tried to eat it when you had it and spit it out. Is it a microwavable meal? <coughs> Oh, liver! Yeah. What the heck? Oh, they always say that I cannot even keep that in my mouth. Yeah, liver. It's so gross. Um, with you, I'd say like horseradish or anything with that in it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like horseradish. I don't know how to say it though. <laughs> Sour, sauerkraut. Uh, I don't eat that stuff. I'm watching TV. What show am I watching? I don't know a specific show, first of all, but like a Discovery ID. Something well, like that. You lose. That's not an actual show. That's a. Oh, network. The, you watch the whole network. You're just on. So what's the she, show? You're on the channel. Oh. Um, I Married a Murderer. <laughs> it's something like that. You like all those kind of okay. shows. Okay. Oh, I, I survived. I survived. All right. I'll give you that. Okay. I survived. All mm -hmm. right. Uh, Stephanie is watching Big Brother. Yeah. If it's not Big Brother, it's Survivor. Yeah. What am I awesome at? Um, cooking. Cooking. She's awesome. I love, yes, I love your food. Oh, thank you. I think there has not been one time that Stephanie has brought me a plate of food, even when she was like, oh, I messed up on it. That is still always really good. Um, I think you're awesome at, like, fixing stuff. I love that you are, because I be needing a lot of stuff fixed, and I don't want to do it or figure out how to do it myself. And I feel like you like to fix stuff. I love to fix yeah, stuff. So guys. It works. That works out. Yeah. Like, we're moving, and... We know we want cable in certain rooms and she's like they can do it i'm like i can just do it like she wanted to do everything I can get the cable instead of letting the people do it for free they're not gonna do it for free they're gonna charge 49.99 that's oh, why okay. i want to do it so you're gonna do everything yes okay the last question is what am i horrible at cleaning up i'm not i don't think yeah. you are you are horrible at making the bed up really yes i've never seen you making the bed up correctly and just be like she, like she'll just pull the comforter up but don't Fix the pillows, the bottom sheet don't even be fixed, it still be crumpled under the thing. Yeah. You horrible. I don't bed. like to sleep with a comforter. I don't like the pillow. I just want the bed to be the way it is. The bed. Yeah. Okay. So the I think Stephanie is horrible at um I don't really find anything horrible about Stephanie. Very good answer. Yes. Very good. Everything is so wonderful. Yes. I don't like that answer. Yeah. Except for driving. I'm horrible at that. Babe, what? I'm horrible at driving? You're not, yeah. A very scared driver. That's what I am. She's very safe, which is wonderful, but also being too safe will get you a ticket. Like driving too slow. I think you get a ticket for driving too slow. I don't drive that slow, babe. <laughs> I mean, it's scary. That's I'm scared, like, yeah. You're scared by how slow I drive? I'm scared when I get in the car with you. Wow, you know you're going to live with me. With you, you don't need, you're not sure.